That's why I like Moore's better. We get to hang out with some of the most interesting people, man. Alistair's all around these fluff people, these fake people. We're down here with the Night's Watch. Perhaps a nice vintage from our cellars. Why not? Let's drink our fill. Nice try, clever little sod. Ooh. Now I'm gonna ask him again, but this time I'm gonna do it with my axe. Nice from our cellars. Open this door at once. The Night's Watch holds power around here. You can't just walk into people's homes like that. Go back to your wall. Son of a bitch! Hit it with the axe! <laughs> Perhaps a nice vintage from our cellars. What are you blathering about? Off with you, Afwick. Unless you want trouble. I want trouble. I want it. Perhaps a nice... It's pointless to keep... Tr Son of a bitch. No one wants to take the oath anymore, do they? Just those that have escaped the loot coming up. Just pull out the... Whatever. It's not gonna let me axe his door down, so... Give up. There's a lot of doors in here. Dale Tomato! Duck of the Killer Tomatoes! What's up, Moles. Tomato? What are you doing here? I'm looking for a girl. And some tomatoes! I, to Town. I heard you got a hook up you with some tomatoes. Seen her in the area. I haven't moved for over an hour. And aside from all, I haven't seen much. And you? What are you doing here? Why are you camping out in front of this door? It's a sorry tale, Moles. We found one of our men in his room earlier. His chest was ripped open and his heart ripped out. Work of a wildling, if you ask me. Looks like a slaughterhouse in here. A wildling in Molestown? I don't believe it. We would have heard word by now if wildlings had been spotted. We'll see. The old bear has sent an officer to investigate this matter. You best be on your way. The area is sealed off until we get new orders. I see. Good luck. Hmm. I guess Batman's gonna pass on this one, huh? Or is he? I swear it's true. The wildlings have breached the wall. Hey, a door that opens. It's a rare commodity around here. Two in a row, this is amazing. Dog, get under there. The hell was the point of this? Maybe it had some point later on. I don't know. Yes, but the land of the gift belongs to the north. And in the Right, before I talk to her, you know I gotta loot this place. Is that her? Jane Greystone! I know you! There you are at last, young lady. Is that her? Yes. There's no doubt about it. The trail leads right to her. Who are you? I am Moors Westford, a ranger of the Night's Watch. The King's Hand sent us to find you. The Night's Watch? The last time I crossed paths with one of you, he tried to steal from me. Oh yeah. You're the girl that Craven Deserter tried to steal from. He was no longer a brother of ours. 
He was a traitor to our order. And that was my dog that saved you from him back in the woods. I thought I'd seen that animal before. Enough. Samoz, you can leave us now. You have completed your mission and the Crown will show you its gratitude for this. You aren't a member of the Night's Watch. Indeed. This is Sir Godric Donnelly, Lord Arryn's emissary. He is responsible for your protection. Come with me, Jane. I am here to take you to a safe place. A safe place? I know Sir Donnelly. You don't look like him at all. <sighs> Stop with the games, little girl. Go to hell, imposter! Silence! Tell me, child. You say you know Sir Donnelly. Where and when did you last meet him? At King's Landing, a little while before I left. It's because of him that I'm freezing up here. So yes, I do remember his face. Be reasonable, Jane. Our Lord's last wishes were to take you to a safe place, which is exactly what I plan on doing. Liar! Something's rotten here. We'll return to Castle Black and figure out what to do. I'm afraid not, Sir Westford. Do you intend on opposing my Lord's orders? I know full well where my duty lies. This situation would not please the Lord Commander, and it doesn't please me either. Mormont will decide. This matter is closed. Thank you, my lord. I don't understand why you are being so stubborn, Sir Westford. I'm asking you one final time to allow me to leave with the girl. Return to the wall and report that your mission was a success. My mission was to take this girl to safety. And I will. You can plead your case to the Lord Commander. Very well. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but you leave me no choice. I won't allow anyone to get in my way. Don't even bother pulling your sword out. You're just going to die disappointed. She didn't even listen. Now I'm going to stab you. Oh. Oh, you weren't planning for the dog kicking your ass, were you? Uh-oh. Bonk! Shit hurts, bro! Shit, I don't even have enough to interrupt that. Don't tell me when I whooped your ass this hard. Cause they'd laugh. Regenerate mores! I'm no longer tired. I can continue kicking your ass now. Oh, he gave up? Bitch. You are tougher than I imagined, Sir Westford. But you haven't heard the last of me. Bloodseekers, here! Kill the crow! Bring the girl back, dead or alive! I'll leave you to talk with my men. Resist if you will, but nothing will stop me from getting my Just chop his freaking head off, Morse. Not as long as I live. Your death is so going be to be it. excellent. Look <laughs> at this guy, he's like, hey. Are you Morse Westford? I heard about you. You hurt people, don't you? Only when it's sunny outside. Hmm. Oh, he tried to heal. That shit ain't going down, sir. Go, Moors! Smash him! Good night! Alright, now I'm gonna combo this guy. Oh, he's got a friend! It's alright, I'll deal with you soon, Mr. Heavy Armor. I got a Kujil for you. Oh, yeah! Hails to the air! Uh, and then, uh, because a true bro can headbutt another man while he's wearing a steel headguard. <laughs> Don't try this at home, guys. Grab his foot. I won't let you hit me while I'm down, coward. Now I'm going to smash you. Told you. And a nice level up. Thank you. From a trouble. If it weren't for you. I would no longer be alive. Now follow me. Let's get out of this midden heap quickly before we get trapped here. That imposter thinks he can hide, but I'll hunt him down. <laughs> oh, let's level up. 
Did we get an attribute? Yeah, we did. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to get something, right? Could get smarter. Morse doesn't need to be smart. He could be lucky. Bonus loot and dodge and critical chance. Let's go with agility. It seems to, uh, increase our damage. Yeah, we'll go with agility. Domination! I love it. Wow, I have four skill points. What the hell have I been doing? Hardhead, you're more resistant to stuns. Your excellent physical condition helps you withstand attacks you would normally knock you over. When inflicting stun and knockdown, they last an extra second. What's this do? Knock your opponent to the ground with a violent blow. If your opponent is knocked down, it does 2.4 damage. So 1.3. Oh, okay. That's like a new combo. So now I have a new combo I can use. What's this do? After each kill, I get plus 5 death damage and plus 3%. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna go with that. And for my dog... For you, your teammate, and your allies, energy recovery changes to 3% per second for 9 seconds. So it's like a buff. What's this do? Remove shield? Passive. Your dog has become more effective in battle. When your dog kills an opponent, its abilities are instantly recharged. And what's this do? Toughness. Give it 20% health. That's good. Skills, swords, up five. Maces, up five. Not warhammers. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The rest in heavy armor. The 41. Very nice. That should be good enough. Alright, let's clear this place out. I'm just gonna say now. I'm not gonna spend any time not killing people. Golden touch! Come on, dog! Go, go. What's green mean? I forgot what green means. Oh, green means the exit, I think. Is there any other smells? Does this mean I can kill Jaren or whatever his name is? A gold dragon is worth 210 silver stags, while a silver stag is worth 16 copper groats. Oh, so I need 210 silver to get one gold. Man, there's items that are like 8 gold. It's going to take forever. Oh! Patrick kicking some ass again. His story was pretty baller. Is all well? These soldiers attacked me when I was leaving Sybil's place, but I gave them a taste of my steel. Do you have any idea what's going on here? The man with me was an imposter pretending to be Godric Donnelly, supposedly acting on behalf of the King's Hand. Be careful, Patrick. This brigand let his dogs loose on the Night's Watch. And they are everywhere. Be careful. Come with me. Bruise to the end. Aw. Oh, he did. Cool. Let's shake this earth up, gentlemen. Oh, what? I didn't pick that. I'm gonna have to regenerate. Oh, he's getting his ass kicked. Oh, shit. I better watch him. <laughs> Well, there's Quaker everybody, so he doesn't take some damage for a bit. Not death from above, headbutt him. Mm. Run, Patrick, run! I forgot how to switch, I haven't had a partner in forever. That's what three tenths of the game with no partner does right there. Three tenths. Does that even make sense? I forgot how to use my partner. <laughs> These the dogs here. Handle him. I want to see this upheaval death from above combo. Do it! Oh! 
Oh, <laughs> right in the back of the head. Get my axe out. That's right, Patrick. You did well. You tried your best. Oh, my dog's almost dead, too. Oh! Have a tasty treat. You did well, dog. You didn't do so well, Patrick. Actually, I'm rather pleased you came to the brothel. But where is Walter? Don't worry about him. The cheap wine they serve at the ore house knocked him right out. Considering the circumstances, I'd rather leave him in the ore's capable hands. He'll be thanking the Seven when he wakes up. Seven hells. If we all get out of this mess alive, I'm going to have a talk with him. What's going on, Moors? Why are these men attacking us? The imposter and his men are here for the girl. But it doesn't seem like they plan on protecting her. So, if that man is not Godric, who is he? I'm not certain, but we can worry about that later. For the moment, it's more important to get to Castle Black. We're too exposed here. Thank you for what you've done, my lord. But I'd rather continue on alone. That's out of the question. The Lord Commander would like to talk to you. Furthermore, my old friend John Arryn asked me to protect you. So you're staying with me. You'll be safe within our walls. Our Lord Commander will find a solution. Since I have no choice, I suppose I'll go to the fortress with you. Happy to hear it. Patrick, this Godric imposter still has soldiers with him. Their camp is located between Castle Black and us. We must be very careful. What's the plan? We'll get past them by force if we have to. My blade will break through anyone who tries to block our way. When things turn nasty, I'll need you to remain by my side and defend the honor of the Night's Watch. I just use my head. Moves. Headbutt now, fools. let's go and be on the lookout for an enemy ambush, even within the village walls. Take Jane to Castle Black. We can do that. She's in very capable hands. A knife? That's a girl's weapon, man. Veil of Aaron, beaked helm. Ooh, that might be good. Yeah. That was the right button. Oh, it is better. Nice. Cool looking armor, I'm not gonna lie. I love the medieval armor. It always looks cool. It's like, reminds me of Dark Souls. No, we don't want to go back there. Hey, Spot, come here. Find me some people to kill. He loves to play. <laughs> Ninja dog. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that guy took way less to kill. Who's next? I smell ya. Smells like dinner. Smells like Alpo. Oh, really? Hey, what the hell was that? Then he turns his back. It was nothing. <laughs> Just a vicious dog. Oh, he's giving him a kiss. This dog is kicking some ass, to say the least. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go around and get this guy. 
Or I can kill this guy. Hey, you're in my way. These guys with the armor try way harder to stop the dog. <laughs> it's like the other guys just give up. Oh, he's going to be able to see me. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Is it time to bring in the big guns, guys? Because I don't think he's going to turn around. I said hound. Damn hounds. Hounds everywhere, these hounds. I'm calling my hound cursed because he's ugly. It's BS. Oh, shit. That was a knockout. <laughs> I was spotted by an ally of my target. Okay. Well, I hope they like getting axed. A question. Who are we running at? Oh, this guy. Ah, uh, shit. Upheaval, death from above. Upheaval, death from above. <laughs> uh, uh. And let's double death from above this guy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna say that's probably closed casket, gentlemen. 